Hi guys, bonus video for you today. What am I doing? I'm doing a shop vlog, which means I am taking my camera and I'm bringing you to my favorite shop. Guess which one? We don't know. <laughs> it, it'll be a surprise. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to give you a tour around the shop show you all my favorites and such and give you sort of a, a feel of what doing is all about okay guys this is the first time i am taking my camera handheld so it might be a little bit shaky uh but i think it's going to be fine so please enjoy the shop hey guys you never guess where i am at my very favorite place to be this is my happy place i am actually at doing the shop yes we're doing a shop vlog you're gonna love it guys it's not a huge store but it's packed to the brim to the ceiling and every inch of it is so here's what i'm doing i'm gonna take you through a quick tour through the whole shop and i'm gonna show you my favorite items here and my absolute essentials so have a snack and a cup of tea this is going to be a long one for sure so let's start over here the very first thing you notice when you step into the store, it smells so lovely in here. If you've ever been here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It, the, the scent in here is just yummy, yummy. So um, I'm going to go straight to some of my favorites. Um, this is Stamperia. You know, I love my Stamperia. They have everything organized. I'm going to show you guys on the top. There they have the die cuts. And uh, the stickers and such of different sort of uh, collections. And then underneath, I'm sorry guys, I might be a little bit shaky because normally my camera is hanging on top of me. There we go, the rub-ons. You know, I love the rub-ons. And they have so, so many, so, so many. I think the rub-ons are really, really cool and also extremely affordable. I just really like them. Yeah. Love them. And then the stencils. Um, I do have some of them. And I use some of them as well. Um, I think they're very good value for money. The only thing is they do stain. So if you use them, love these, clean them right away. If you're going to use them with the stress oxide or what have you, clean them straight away. Also, some um, clear stamps. More rub-ons. Yes, more rub-ons. Now, Stamperia has like huge collections um, with all sorts of mixed media stuff. There's some um, fabric here. Never use this. And then, and then of course, the paper pads. The paper pads. Why do I love Stamperia so much? Because they think of everything. They have uh, different sizes and they have uh, background papers and then design papers. Let's see if I can show you some. Yes, over here. This is, these are the background papers, smaller ones, which are uh, eight by eights. And then also the big ones, 12 by 12s. Yeah. And then you have the design papers, eight by eight and 12 by 12. So two sizes. And I really, really like it. I mix and match uh, all the time. So yes, yeah, Stamperia. And I think Stamperia has new collections out every like six to eight weeks. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Let me show you this wall here. Probably my absolute favorite. I think so. This is Mr. Tim Holtz. Yes. All these trinkety bits. <laughs> that I love so, so much. Yeah. And the other side of the wall is also Mr. Tim Holtz. I'm going to show you later, guys. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start at the bottom. Because there are some. I'm sorry. Shaking. Um, there are some items here that I really want to show you. Like this. This is. What do, does he call it? Uh, the craft stock. I use this all the time uh, and you use it with a sanding disc or an emery board. Now he has a couple of different colors. This is warm, like all sorts of red. This is just black. Really, really cool. And there's also neutral and uh, cool. This is neutral. There should be a cool one, but it might be sold out. No, this is cool. More greens and uh, blues. I really do like them. I, I recommend these. I use them all the time with an emery board or what have you tiny attacher really nice um it is a stapler but like with the smallest staples ever see 
love them. You uh, can buy the sort of the refill and then you'll have staples for the rest of your life because there's a gazillion in them. Um, some of the rub-ons. I do love rub-ons. However, I do not really like those. It's just a me thing. And um, he doesn't have the 12 by 12 paper packs anymore. But he does have the backdrops. I'm hoping he'll um, make a new backdrop this year. A couple of volumes. I believe four or five or something like it. But they're an odd size. Well, to me, they're an odd size. This was... Um, how are... What size are those? Oh, six by, uh, six by ten inches. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I like mine 12 by 12, Mr. Holtz. <laughs> yes. Um, let me show you some of the lovely small packs with yummy yummies. Mr. Holtz is famous for his paper dolls. He has loads and loads. Can I be honest? You just need one. Pick one. Yeah. Uh, uh, like a classic one. Um, and then also the photos. He has um, photo booth and photomatic. I enjoy Photomatic more. The, the pictures are the slightest bit uh, bigger. And also, this is the pack where um, Gunter A and B live and Gretchen. So, I prefer this one than all of these. They are cool though. They are really, really cool. Then he has some transparent layer things. Um, I don't use these often enough. No. And then all his ephemera packs. I don't have all of them, but I have a lot of them. But I do have a favorite one. I'm going to show you um, this one with the layer frames. I do like it, but I like to make them myself. And then where's my favorite one? I have to stand up, guys. I'm sorry. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Um, yeah, my absolute favorite is this one. Let me show you. It's almost, I'm going to say this is an essential piece. I think I have used two or three packs already of this. This is Curator. Ephemera pack snippets. Love it. Just a couple of weeks ago, I bought this one with just numbers. You know, I love my numbers. So I also use uh, this. And this I want to make myself. And then he has all the metal, like the, you know, the hardware, as I like to call it. Um, what do I use? Well, these. I use these a lot. These are the mini fasteners. Yes. Mini fast, very, very small um, uh, brads. And then he has, there you go, long fasteners. I also have those. They, I think they have longer legs. Hence the name long fasteners. And large fasteners. I don't know about you, Mr. Tim Holtz, but this is not large. But I love them. Uh, three colors, like uh, copper and, um, I don't know, gun metal, what have you. These are also really, really nice. The, the mini uh, pins, mini safety pins. And he also has some paper clips. Do we have the paper clips? Loop pins. I call these uh, bulb clips. I don't know. I cannot find the paper clips. But they're paper. Oh, yes. Yes, I, find, I see them. They're tiny. There we go. Mini paper clips. Really cute. Really cute. So I have a lot of his stuff, but also a lot that I don't use. Um, the resin type of uh, stuff that you use in uh, what some call it shadow boxes and such shadow boxes. I don't do shadow boxes, but I love to look at it. Yes. So this is one part of Mr. Holtz. Uh, let me take you to another part of Mr. Holtz. As I was walking around the corner, I came across these. Uh, still Mr. Tim Holtz. These, this is his tissue paper. I don't use it often enough, but I do like them. I especially like this one. This is from the palette. Was this from the palette collection? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't even know. Photographic. Well, I like this one. Small images, sort of small piece that you can use. And then all his beautiful tapes. Yes. And these, I actually, when he came out with these, this is typically Mr. Tim Holtz. He comes out with something and I'll be like, what, why? What and why? Um, but these are um, uh, one eighth of an inch, are they? I think so. I think so. Well, they're very, very small. And they're really, really cute to use if you have a small strip of something. Yes, yeah, so I like them. Oh, look at those. She has a few left. Uh, this is the plus minus tape, guys. The, the pet tape. It's so gorgeous. It's so, so gorgeous. I hoard it. 
I don't use it often enough, but it's really, really beautiful. Okay, let's go around the corner. Now, there's a lot that I'm not showing because, uh, no. And not because it's not good, but this care, this is so it's gesso and mixed media, new, 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 new. So let's go around the corner. There we go, more Mr. Tim Holtz. I'm gonna start at the top. Woo, focus, please. Um, these are the 3D embossing folders. Now, I do own some of them. I, I think I have this one with sort of the pavement. Does it say, I don't even know. And I have this one because I really liked the dots. And then the one with the numbers. I should use them, right? Yes, I should. Then all of his die sets. Um, he just came out with new ones. Which ones? Yes, but these. I'm going to show you guys. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I think these were the previous ones. Now, from his previous collection, I took home with me this one and this one. Because I knew about this one. The Wildflowers one. Yeah. I don't use dyes enough. And then, especially not those. However, I could be mistaken. Because, remember, when he came out with these. There are three, right? Uh, Marloes only has two of them uh, left. Uh, everyone on the planet was like, oh yeah, sure. You can do this with your scissors. And you can. But actually, can I be honest? I only use these die sets ever. Yeah, just these. Because I absolutely love them. Uh, what is it called? It had, it had a name. Why do I not remember the name? Uh, the collector. Yes, Collector. The Collector Collection. Yeah, love it. And then for his stamps. He has a lot. Now, the good thing about his stamps is... Oh, look, the bunny. Uh, about his stamps is they never retire. I can see myself in the reflection. Hi. They never retire, guys. So you can always order them. Of course, uh, if you're in the EU, you can order here at Do It Inc. Yes, please do so. Um, but also uh, via uh, Stampers Anonymous. Now, um, my favorites. Let's, well, let's go over here. One of my favorites, this is Field Notes. Must have. I use this all the time. Mod Studies. Love that one. And then this. And Marloes knows that I love this one. So she has this in stock at all time. Um, because a lot of you guys really want it. I'm sorry for the glare. Uh, this is eccentric. Yes. Now. <clears throat> and one thing. His stamps are not cheap. But well worth it. Well worth it. I absolutely love. Especially this one. Uh, an essential. For sure. For sure. I, I could not live without this one. Yes. She has lots. Now what I do like. Um, that Marloes lately has sort of invested. Oh Ticket Booth. Another one that I really really like. Um, invested in. Older stamp sets. Like old ones with these packagings. Yeah. If you're a. Um, Tim Holtz follower for a couple of years. You know he used to make them in. This way with all the. With the white background. Yeah, so she has loads. What is this one? I don't know this one. I don't know this one. Let's have a look. What? Oh, that is cool. That one is cool. Do you want to take it? Shall we take it with us? Oh, I think so. I want. To, do we want to have a play? We want to have a play. Yes. Yes, I'm going to try it out, guys. Let's try it out. The stamp set is called Seasonal Seasonal Catalog 2. I think it's for 4th of July. We do not celebrate 4th of July lovies in the Netherlands. Well, I do because it's my wedding date. But I'm going to uh, take it with me anyway because it's sort of advertisement pieces. I love it. Also, rectification. Uh, not collector. This is chapter 3. There are supposed to be three of them. Love them all. So that's it for Mr. Tim Holtz for now. I have more stuff uh, to come later on in the shop. We are on our way to one of my other favorite brands. Uh, and then passing this one. This is Whimsy Stamps. Now, I don't use these guys. This is fantastic if you're a card maker. And I know there are lots of card makers in the Netherlands that come here uh, for the supplies or order them. 
online. Um, I'm filming this after closing time, of course, but normally on a Saturday, this is jam packed and it's a sort of a lovely place to be because, you know, you're surrounded by kindred spirits. Now we have arrived at another brand that I sometimes use and I have something to say about because look at all the loveliness. This is Elizabeth Craft Designs. Now, fun fact about Elizabeth Craft Designs, you might not know, it's a Dutch brand. The owner, Els, actually is from the Netherlands. I think she even was born sort of around here because I can tell by her accent. Um, they are fantastic. If you're an art journaler, if you're a card maker, if you're a planner, you know, with the sidekicks or a memory keeper, um, this is essential. I am none of these, but I still like to use um, some of their uh, supplies. I don't use a lot of dyes. There was one in particular. This one I'm going to show you. And I'm going to be sad, guys. I'm going to be sad for you because this is the very last one. Uh, I get a lot of questions asked. Uh, how do you make your hole reinforcers? Well, with this. But this is the last one. I'm hoping else is going to make some more soon. Um, also some lovely paper. Some love, I'm gonna I'm hoping you're not get it, getting dizzy, loves. See the paper packs here on the bottom? Absolutely love those. A whole wall full of clear stamps. Now I must admit, the first time I used the clear stamps from Elizabeth Craft Designs, uh, I was a little bit disappointed because they are very sticky. Guess what? So are most of the clear stamps. Uh, and David was so kind to tell me how to get rid of the sticky. So you just, you stamp with them and don't clean them. Let the ink dry and then next time you use them, less sticky. Yes, and it really, really works. So I just have a couple of uh, these. I have one from uh, David's collection. This one I really liked with sort of the splatter and the circles and such. And then I also have one with tickets. I believe it's all the way down here. And most of the stamp sets come with their own die set. So that is pretty cool, right? Yeah. Uh, there's one in here that I don't have. But I see all the time. She's famous, right? Yeah, I see her like as often as the inventor slash inspector. It's like the girl version of this one. So... She is really, really cool. Designed by Esther, right? Yeah. There's another item uh, from Elizabeth Craft Designs that I'm really excited about that I want to share with you. These are the stencils. Very good value for money because you get a set of them. This is the, I think the last one. This is one that David, David made. Yes, there are four stencils in one pack. And uh, I love them because you have the crackle and you have the splatter. You have numbers. Not, I'm not all about the stars, but you know, it could make for a lovely background. So this was a really cool one. And I know Esther, a couple of months ago, was it this one? Yeah, this one. She made this one as well. And it even has six of them. Um, this is not coffee stains. In her words, these are wine glass stains. So, and then with the letters and the numbers, um, the big numbers, and then some lovely uh, background um stands as well so i think these are very good value for money and also very good quality so a definite yes uh, to this one more brands that i hardly ever use that's because i'm not a card maker lots of die sets and this is from i don't even know what's this called a pocket a pocket full of well that's a lovely name pocket full of happiness lovely dies on the bottom we also have some um, wax seal drops. Ooh, I'm going to show you later. I never use wax seals. Why? Because I might burn down the house. For sure. Spellbinders. Now, I have a couple of items from Spellbinders that are not in stock anymore. I don't think they are available. Because Kathy Holden, was it Kathy Holden? Yes. Um, she had uh, some lovely stamps. Oh, I love them, but they're not available anymore. So I'm skipping Spellbinders. Thank you, Spellbinders. Another one, Crafts Emotions. Really nice if you're a card maker. You know, I'm not into cutesy lovies. No, but if you are, you're at the right address. Yeah. Moving along, moving along. This is Carline Design. Sounds Dutch. Yes, it is. Because these are sort of um, sentiments for cards. But all in Dutch. So if you're a Dutch card maker, 
yeah oh look at her oh that's cute you can sort of dress her up yeah cool cool one okay then this is all the way in the back of the of the shop also new now i've heard of the of the brand i think it's a very well known and very good brand brand never used any of it should i i don't know is this my style i don't think so and then this is something i uh um found out about recently recently it's paper artsy as you can tell it's out there it's bold it's bright colorful sort of more abstract so that is why i always skip them until i found this tissue paper i've shown you in a what's up with new guys i have this one and and another one yeah was it this one i think so yes i have two of them they're fantastic i absolutely love them I'm not saying it's an essential, but please guys, try them out because they are very reasonably priced. You get four big, big sheets. Uh, and I think it's sort of the same um, as the Mr. Tim Holtz collage paper. However, this is not coated. The Tim Holtz collage paper is, is coated a little bit. But from this brand, I absolutely, absolutely love these. So if you find them, pick them up. Tools, big tools, like the Big Shot. A die cut machine and if you do have die cut machines from Sizzix and such um, all sorts of accessories that you need with them the plates magnetic plates I am I do not know enough about this guys but they have like small ones and big ones and all sorts um, yes because you need to sometimes replace them also these um paper pouncers never use them because i don't do enough with mixed media but they just look cute right and um the brushes the ink brushes now i have some of these from studio like the ink blenders they have them in different sizes like this size or even smaller i saw the smaller ones right yes like these the tiny ones yeah i do like them especially oh and i have uh, one of these yeah I keep them in here. It's a lovely display as well. Oh, I didn't know there was in here. This is a heat gun. This is the heat gun from Mr. Tim Holtz. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't know she had this. Uh, apparently a very good one. Also not a very loud one. Yeah. Okay, before, before I go here in this section, because it's love... Um, I'm going to skip this for now. I'm going to show you another brand that I love a lot. We are here at Creative Expressions. One of my favorite sets. I'm sorry guys for the for the shadow. I cannot, I cannot help it. Now as I remember, um, I think last year, I asked Marloes if she could get this one for me. Dates from the past one and two. Because I don't think it was in the collection. And um, well, lucky for me, she found some. And then everything sold out in a minute. Uh, these are just fantastic, guys. Designed by Sam Poole. Then Sam came out with signatures from the past. She was very smart. She made a one and a two immediately. So those four I use all the time. All the time for so many different uh, projects. Uh, they also have the die cuts. Smaller stamps. Some paper packs. Some small ones. And then last year, I'm going to try to go on the top yes last year lorna joined the team and she made all of these and i'm obsessed with them i love them so much look at the one with the passport yes uh only a couple left because if you're into making identity cards must have yeah really really cool one so i am really really pleased with uh the quality of the stamps as well I don't think Marloes has any of the rubbons left. No, the rubbons are rubbish. So do not buy the rubbons, but um, they don't sell them anymore. I don't have this one. It's cool, right? Yeah, also have the small ones. Very, very cool. Creative expressions. Uh, and I, I know there's another set coming out soon. Lorna told me, so hoping it's soon. Yeah, so creative expressions. Look at these towers of paper. 
This just makes me envious. I want towers of paper. Well, you have some, love. Um, lots of scrapbook paper. Yes, um, you have some packs by Craft O'Clock. I really like this brand. And, uh, well, all sorts, basically. Look at all of this. Look at that. Uh, yes. All sorts of yummies. Uh, different brands. I don't know all of them. Do I know this one? I don't. Look how cool. Maya designs. Oh, those are lovely. Fantastic. So I'm not going to name all the brands. But all of them. All of them. I'm going to turn you around for a little bit on the table. Malouz has a couple of tables in the, in the shop. And uh, where she displays the sort of new collections or something that she wants to put a, more, a little bit more of an emphasis on. Like this one. Look at this. This is made by... Oh, papers for you. Thank you. Papers for me. Wild West collection. Really cool. And then um, Graphic 45. I did something with this uh, in uh, What's Up, What's New. It's just so pretty. And all the yum yums. Look at what you can make with it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. The whole shop is full of sort of makes. Yeah, what's what's down here? I've never seen this. Oh, it comes with um uh, is that for the for this set? No. Sturdy winter, it looks like it comes with the cowboys. But it's cool. Okay. More paper. I'm sorry, don't get this see, don't get this see. Yes, more paper. Let's go around uh, this way. Also some uh single sheets. I need to have one of those, right? Look at the acetate. Printed acetate. Just too cool. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Absolutely lovely. A big pillar here in the middle. With all sorts of stuff. This is Masterpiece uh, Designs. Is it Masterpiece Designs? Yes. And I do have one or two stamp sets of this brand. I have this one that I absolutely love. What's it called? Blueprint, Blueprint Splatter. Love this one. Look at the splatter. And I absolutely love um, this one. And I also picked up this one a couple of weeks ago. Really like it. Very affordable. It's also Dutch. Yeah. And then over here we have Gumiapan. Which, actu which actually translates to a rubber monkey. <laughs> Is it from Sweden? I think it's Swedish or something like it. Well, Sc Scandinavian for sure. At the moment, they only have the dyes. Very affordable, guys. But sometimes they also have the, the stencils. Yay for the stencils. And also the, the rubber stamps. Those are the stamps that are unmounted. So keep that in mind. Gonna flip over to here. More stencils and... Looks lovely, right? Yes. What do we have on this side? Look at all the makes. Look at that. Yeah, I should make some cards, right? Oh, yes, this is sort of new. Tracy Evans. Cute, right? Yeah, it's a new brand for the shop. Should maybe do something with it. I don't know. Is this my style? The botanicals. That's always cute. Yeah. Are we ready for the tools yet? I think so. I'm going to show you the tools. This I'm going to do a whole piece on. Because very important stuff is going on over here. Before I'm going to go over to the tools. I'm going to introduce you to two of my best friends. This is uh, Art. Art Glitter Glue. And here's his buddy Bart. Now they sort of do the same thing. They're fantastic glues. I highly recommend them. I think it's a, it's a must. Um... They come in different sort of sizes. Same with Bart. I just use the smaller one. Um, I'm going to explain later. Uh, Bart is a little bit more expensive than Art. But then again not. Because if you buy Art Glitter Glue. You need to invest in. Uh, the. I'm, I'm going to call it a nip. Is it called a nip? Metal tip. The metal tip that you need. You need this because that's what makes the glue so good. And um, it comes with a pin. So you need to invest in this. If you're going to buy art glitter glue, no, uh, barely art glue, it already comes with the metal tip. 
So it's basically the same price. Now, all of you guys are keep asking me, which is the better one? Well, I'm going to say something very controversial. Um, this might be the better one for two reasons. Reason one, it takes a couple of more seconds to really glue. So you have a little bit more wiggle room. And also, if you're going to use this on vellum, it will not make a bumpy line. It's very good, good for um, gluing vellum. So two pluses. However, I'm just in love with art. Especially this, this one, the smallest one. Uh, why do I like the smallest one? Because it's very nice in your hand. It just, you know, it's just feels nice. Um, and also, you don't. I I use this almost on a regular day. Yeah, on a regular basis. I maybe buy two of them a year. Maybe not even. So one is enough. So in the competition for barely art glue or art glitter glue. For me, it's art for the win. We have arrived at the wall, the wall o tool, the wall o tools. Now there are some essentials on here, guys. I'm gonna walk straight up to another one that you really need to have. Scissors. You need a good pair of scissors, and Mr. Holt happens to make the best one. Now he has a couple of them: the large one and the medium and small. He has this one and this one. I basically prefer the. Oop. There you go. <laughs> I basically prefer the taller one. I have the smaller one as well, but I always reach for the tall one. Um, and that's because, for me, it is a longer blade. I am rubbish at cutting, right? But if your blade is longer, you cut straighter, in my opinion. Also, if you're going to try to attempt to cut circles, works better with, um, with a longer blade. But that's just my opinion. So, uh, an essential for sure. I absolutely love this one. It is an investment, uh, but honestly... They don't go dull and you can clean them easily. And if you, however, have sort of arthritis or you don't have a lot of power in your hands, this may not be the best scissors for you because they're very, very heavy. But that makes them really, really good. Yes. Moving along, moving along. I'm going to show a couple more things from Mr. Holtz that I really love. Um, yes, this one, the sanding disc. These are just a disc. And you can put them on the ink daubers. Ink daubers, you say? Yes, these ones. Um, for the craft stock. Love them. And there was another tool. I don't know if they have it at the moment. This is the distressor. Yes, works. But you can also open up your scissor lobbies. Uh, I don't think they have it at the moment. It's sort of the tool that makes a perforated line. Absolutely love it. Not from Mr. Tim Holtz, but a favorite of mine is this one. Uh, from Fiskars, it's the swivel knife. I absolutely love it. There's only one left because I told you to get it. And you guys did. Then he has the matte medium that I sometimes use. There are two of them. This one and another one that I cannot find. Have you seen all the inks? Yeah, I'm going to show you. Isn't it glorious? It's just glorious. It's all the colors. All the colors are here. And these are all the colors. Because he's not making any of them anymore. Now, my personal preference. Because I'm going to zoom you in, guys. You have the Distress Ink. You have the Distress Oxide. You have the Spray. The spray Stain. You have all sorts. I, this is my preferred. Well, I use the Oxide a lot. I love the Oxide. Sometimes I use the inks. But the Oxide, to me, they have more pigment in them. So if you're going to start out, guys, and I don't even know how many colors he has, like 60? Don't know. If you're going to start out, you're going to start out with, are we going to go all the way to the end? Yes. We're going to start here with this one. If you're a beginner, this is the one you need. Vintage photo, for sure. Absolutely love it. Yes, try it out. And if you really, really like it and you want to invest in another one, Go a little bit darker. Well, go a lot darker. There you go. Ground espresso. This is the darker color. And I use this for distressing edges of paper. Um, uh, for stenciling and blending and such. I don't actually use these for stamping. For stamping, even though I love you so, so much, Mr. Tim Holtz, with all your lovely colors. 
for stamping, I use a different plant altogether. There we go. I'm going to get on my knees for you guys again. Yes. This is First to Find Claire. And this is the best color in the world. This is Fallen Leaves. It's not black. It's not brown. It's just perfect. If you're going to do some vintage uh, style crafting, this is absolutely the color to have. I have a couple of them. I also... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back later. Uh, also use First to Find Claire for black. Nocturnal. Yeah. I used to buy this one. It's an okay one. I don't like the scent. Then I bought this one. It's an okay one. But this one, the absolute best. Now, if you're looking for a white ink, because that is very a, a good white ink is very hard to find. I'm going to show you the best one, which is this one. Uh, Hero Arts. This is the most pigmented white ink there is. Yeah? So we're going to do something with white. You need that one. Look at all the colors. So lovely, right? Yes, start with vintage photo. Work your way up to ground espresso. But for stamping, you're going to need this one. Essential. I have a couple of paper trimmers in my craft room. I have this one. Not happy with. I have this one. Happy with. This is a good one, guys. I could recommend this one. Uh, does Molu still have the chomper? There's another one. No, sold out because it's a very, very good one. Uh, scoreboard, also a nice uh, one to have. Some score, uh, something with... Um, well, I prefer mine to have inches on them. These all have um, centimeters because this is by a Dutch brand. Speaking of Dutch brand, Fast and Creative. In love with this one. This is the Whale Tail Tap Punch. Yeah, if you don't have it. If you're sort of a seasoned crafter, you don't have it. You need this. You absolutely need this. Now, a couple of years ago, We Are Memory Keepers came out with the Whale Tail Tap Punch. It's out of commission. Uh, you can find them sometimes on Amazon for over $100. Sometimes even $150. What? Yes, this one is... 15 euros 14 15 euros 14 euros yeah and then his big brother came out this is moby dick you've seen me use it absolutely love it making big tabs so is it an essential no do i recommend it yes a lot what is an essential at least to me is a corner rounder i use this every day uh you know this um a corner rounder then i'm doing an uh, envelope this month right so good one to have it's an envelope punch it's a corner punch and a not a notch punch yes very good if you want to make envelopes normally these come with a scoreboard but you can also just buy them separately whoops i'm just you know i'm all over the place um another essential is a circle punch Yes, you have different sizes. I have all sorts by now. And I think if you're going to start out, do either a one inch one or uh, one and a, this is one and a half inch one. From EK Tools is a very, very good, very good one. If they are um, dull or you don't, they don't cut anymore, cut them a couple of times with aluminum foil. They will sharpen them. So is it, is it an essential? Well, to me it is. To me it is. What did I throw off the wall? There we go. There we go. I'm going to look for it. Yes. Not essential. The crop o dial. It actually says crop a dial. But I'm going to call it crop o dial. I have a pink one in a box. <laughs> a really cute one. But this basically uh, does the same. Very useful, a useful tool. Punches holes. You can set eyelets in them. I use a lot of eyelets. You know this. Speaking of eyelets... Um, the We Are Memory Keepers ones, they have two sizes. At the moment, there's only the smaller ones, like butter. They were really made for this tool. So, um, unfortunately, Mr. Tim Holtz doesn't have any eyelets. Uh, you should make eyelets, Mr. Tim Holtz. Yes, but Fiskars has some eyelets and such. So, yeah, it's a, a luxurious item, but you will not regret it because it's a really, really good one. 
Let's do some storage solutions. There are a couple of items uh, for storage uh, here in the shop. This is all from Mr. Tim Holtz. It's, you can do it for this, his ink uh, pads and his distress uh, sprays, his crayons, the smaller ones and loads. I do like them, the tins, very Tim Holtzy. I absolutely love them. Uh, but I have my own system at home, which is a little bit more vintagey. But there are more storage items. I'm going to walk this way. Walk with me. Walk with me. Mind your step. Yes. Um, over here. Lots for your papers and such. Now, I don't use these. What I do use are these. You've seen me use these. Especially this ones. I get uh, asked about these all the time. These are by Folder Sys. Folder Sys. Yes. You get a pack. I believe there are 10 of them in here. This is the perfect size. The perfect size for a Tim Holtz um, stamp fits in here it is the a5 size guys so on the website um, you can find them the a5 size must have um there are lots of uh sizes in here this is um the square one that i hardly ever use so this is not the one for me then i have for the tim holtz ephemera packs i have for the smaller ones the snippety bits i have this one the small one. This is the smallest, right? They're all on my website, uh, guys. I have a web page here in uh, um, uh, at Do A Ding. I'm going to link it below. It's so always linked below. And then this one for his photographs and photo booth and the larger ephemera pieces. So I use these for Mr. Tim Holtz, this for Mr. Tim Holtz. Now, probably in the back here are the a uh, No, the smaller ones, the smaller, taller ones. Where, where do I use these for? Um... No, these are not smaller, taller ones. Where are they? I don't know, guys. They have smaller, taller ones. I use these for uh, the rub-ons from um, Stamperia. Then this is the A4 size. Use these for my digitals. Yeah, it's bigger than A4. Also, you can use this for letter size. And then these are perfect for your 12 by 12s. So, um, I have a whole collection at home <laughs> of these. Uh, in cupboards, it's just a very nice organizing system. So I use these all the time. I get uh, asked about them frequently. Uh, if you are within the EU, guys, you can order them at uh, Do A Ding. If not, try to find uh, find them. Folder sis. Folder sis. You cannot miss it. So that's And lots more storage, um, of course. Look at all these big boxes. And, and then this one with all the cutesy... Cute, right? Yes. Very, very cute. So, is that it for storage? That's it for storage. Folder sis. Yeah. Another Dutch brand that I sometimes use is Studio Light. Now, what I use most, uh, what I like most about Studio Light are the, the, the cardstock paper pads. These ones. Yes. It's cardstock. It's 250 grams. Sometimes they have them in a lighter weight, but I actually like this. It's double-sided. Let me try to, sh to show you. It's double-sided. So uh, on the other side, there's another color. In sort of the same U, but um, another color. So actually you get, you know, two sides <laughs> to them. These are the new sizes. This is from the new uh, line. They're much, much taller. Now, they don't work in inches because this is a Dutch brand. It has the centimeters on it. So it's 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters. It's about like, um, well, it says on here, 11.8, like say 12 inches, 12 by 6 inches. So have uh, a 12 by 12. I really like them. I don't have this color. Do I need this color? There's more. Oh, look at those. Oh, those are cool. Do you want me to play with it? Oh, let's pick them up. Let's have a play with it. And then some cutesy ones. Yes, this is new by Studio Light. Now, I do know Studio Light is available elsewhere in the world, but you don't see them uh, often. <laughs> it's a Dutch brand. So this is just the cardstock. They have loads more. I'm going to turn you about, guys, because this whole wall is um, Studio Light. I also use some of their stamps. They're really, really cool. They have stamps. They have um, uh, uh, stencils and such, trinkety bits, but also papers. I do like the papers. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. 
so loads not really my style but sometimes they make something that i really really like especially the grunge the grunge collection look at those oh i used these the other day on envelopes see yeah i really like those yes so uh, studio light very good brand it's dutch yeah and they come out with lots of collections whole year through if you're a card maker this is definitely one to be on the lookout for let us go around this corner but we will not miss this whole cupboard full of my beloved 49er market yes these are a couple of collections that are in here yeah i really love the black and white one yes and then marloes also has a table almost always um full of a new release this is the kaleidoscope see so 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 much lovies so this is like a, a whole big table dedicated to 49 and market it's a this shop uh because not a lot of uh craft uh, stores in the netherlands sell this but you know i really support them i love everything about them they have to share this time with simple stories simple stories came out with a good one um i think Look at this with the gingham. Isn't it cute? Do you want to do something with it? I think so. I think I want to try it. Shall we try it out? I think this is really, really cool. Yeah. It came with all sorts. Like the Robons. Oh yeah, I think it's, I think it's really cool. They also make uh, the washi tape. I've used their washi tape before. It's good tape. But I have loads of these um, still. So shall we shall we have a play with this? It's really cool. They also have uh, probably stickers with letters and such. It's like I'm doing uh, a what's up, what's new. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have a play with this. You know that haberdashery is my favorite word <laughs> ever. Look at all of this. Have the baker's twine. I'm gonna call this haberdashery lovies. Um, hemp cord. Now this is the one that I use um, all the time. It's a really good one. This is by Vasa Creative again. Yeah, hemp cord. Uh, it's not expensive, and it, there's lots on here. 100 meters, which means from here to eternity. Uh, I use this all the time, and you can, also, if you want a different color, you can also color them with your uh, distress ink and such. So, uh, an essential. Yeah, I think so. It, well, at least. A big, big favorite. I use this all the time, all the time. I also have from the same brand, yes, a couple of these if you want some lovelier colors. I have this one, some pastels that are really lovely. If you want more neutral ones, really, really cool. Then all sorts of ribbon. Now, I love my ribbon, but I also love my ribbon to be vintage. So I'm more of a vintage ribbon girl, uh, but it's lovely to look at. Yeah. So I'm going to sort of walk you through a section that I never use because it's all about painting and drawing and mixed media and such. So all sorts of pens. I have no, I have no clue what this all is, guys. All sorts of markers. This is just a small section because you're going to be scared. I'm going to pen you out. Look at that. Yes. Pencils. Every color on the rainbow <laughs> is in here. I cannot tell you anything about it because I have no, no clue other than just lovely colors. So these are the uh, the pencils. There might be even watercolor pencils. I do have a set by Karen Dash. I have had that for, for like 30 years. Yeah. And then this is a section with rainbows. <laughs> Colored cardstock. Yes, if you want big pieces. So I I never come here. I never shop here. Uh, but if you're into paper, yeah. And then all sorts of paints. I do like, if you like lovely colors, this is just, you want to go here and, and just be happy. Sparkly bits and um, enamel dots and confetti for shaker cards. Oh, there's a couple of items in here that I want to show you because um, I have picked these up now and then. Like these. Um, it's brad and it looks like a screw. Yeah. I really like those. And also 
turn mounts. Just, that's the name for it. Turn mounts. You can make closures with these. So some small metal pieces. Oh, binder rings. Black ones. Cool. Small magnets. I do believe um, that there are also Velcro dots somewhere. I must have skipped them. Oh, speaking of binder rings. Hello. Yeah. Also, oh, look at the big ones. That is cool. Put all your stencils on from Mr. Tim Holtz or Elizabeth Craft Designs. Yes. So that you can store them. Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, those are pretty. Pretty brats, right? Really cool. So, yeah. Small items. It's just, I never ever come. Well, I come here sometimes. I need to, to look at this more often because just lovely stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go around the corner, walk this way, Dutch do doo well, Dutch brand, never use it, it's not my style, but they do make lovely things. Oh, these are rubber stamps, really cute, right? Yes, so more stencils, more stamps, more for card makers, what is this? Oh, sentiments. <laughs> you know I love those. <laughs> Sparkly bits. Really cool. More stamps. Then look at that wall. Pen pastels. Don't even know what they're for. Markers. The Olo markers. I've heard of those, but I don't use them. Then the Copics. Heard of those. Never use them. Look at it. It's Oh, I love the system. <laughs> and then this. It's in the freezer. It's not a freezer, guys. It's just cool. Isn't that cool? Yes. Don't ever use them. Then I think this is for um, um, uh, uh, watercolor and such. It's paper. All sort of paper pads. Blank paper pads that you can use, do your arts and crafts on. Again, don't use it. What I do want to show you are these. Are these. These are uh, dew drops. Memento dew drops. They're inks. Yes, you can stamp with them. You can distress with them. I really like the shape of them because it's in the shape of a drop. They have loads and loads and loads of colors. Probably as many as Mr. Tim Holtz has. Um, and if you're going to start out, because they are very affordable. They are two, uh, well, three euros a piece. If you're going to start out, guys, buy some of them. Um, and I recommend buy a, a, a really good red one. Like this one. I have this one, Ladybug. A really good red one. A really good blue one. I have both of these. I have Nautical Blue and Paris Dusk. I prefer Nautical Blue. They have something peanut brittle, right? Let's see. Peanut brittle. Are you hungry? Yes, peanut brittle. This one. Really good one as well. And then something with cocoa. Yes. <laughs> it's all food. Um, rich cocoa. So I have these and, and a green one. So which green one do I have? Oh, something with weed. That's not green. That's not a green one. Yes, weed. It's like a, a tea dye. I have this one. And from the green ones, I don't even know. Do I have a green one? Got this ivy. Well, have a green one. Have a green one, why don't you? So, if you do not want to invest in the um, bigger ones by Mr. Tim Holtz, this is a very good one to start out with. Just to see if you like stamping. And, and you can stack them, guys. You can stack them on top of one another. So, it's a very nice organization system. Yeah. So, yeah. Love those. All throughout the shop, there are these small displays with new items on them. Just new releases and such. And it can depend on what's coming out. Like a Winnie, a Winnie the Pooh paper pad. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at that. It's sort of gingham washi tape. Really lovely. Um, so always be on the lookout. If you're in the shop, go have a look here. It's straight, straight in front of the counter. The counter also has new stuff. What's coming out new. Uh, like this uh, this week, Mum's Garden. Lovely sort of lavender, purplish colors. There's also all these um, wax seal stamps. 
Like I love them, but I'm a really a, a little bit afraid to play with them <laughs> because I am afraid I might set the house on fire. So new items are mostly displayed um, at the counter. So you will never miss anything. Look at that lunar paste. So not me, but it's cool nonetheless. Nonetheless, well, big shop, right? have so so many so so many yummies i could go on for hours and hours and show you everything like lavinia never use it never use it but they are beautiful look at the details on this stamp i do have this one yes a compass it's a little a bit whimsical fairy tale yum yums yeah so everything guys is on the web shop it's always linked below i'm gonna link it below also linked below is my my own web page which means all the craft supplies that i use from this shop are on there yes it's not my shop i do not get any commission if you click on them uh but if you're curious about what i am using go look at my web page so you won't be searching for hours and hours because the web shop is huge one of my favorites craft consortium yeah uh what's it called vintage emporium if you get can get your hands on this one yeah a must must have so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it my little trip through uh do a ding we're picking up a couple of things yes uh there will be in my uh, what's up what's new that's coming up next uh I'm, I'm ready to have a play with them yeah very different like grungy and really really colorful a big, big thank you uh, to Marloes allowing me to film in, uh, in the shop after closing time. She's been waiting for me patiently. It is uh, a fantastic place to be. But if you cannot be here, lovies, go uh, to the web shop. To the web shop. If you are within the EU, you can order here. Huge, right? Yes, fantastic. Okay, loves, have a fantastic weekend. I'm hoping to see you in the next video. Until then, bye guys.